Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys my first experience at a Halloween party. So remember that video last year of uh, me showing you guys my Halloween costume for 2021? It was like a 1920s gangster and stuff, and then I told you guys I didn't want to record a video the week after because I was going to a Halloween party. That's what I'm going to be telling you guys um, in this video today is my experience at that Halloween party with my own mom. So my mom and I, before we went to the party, my mom and I booked a hotel for us to stay in because she wanted us to spend some time together away from, get out of the house, away from the boys, just girls night out and, and stuff like that, you know? So my mom and I went to the hotel, chilled there and just wait until it got dark. And my mom was um, she got like an ironing board out of the hotel closet and tried to iron her shirt because she was dressing up as Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction while, again, I was dressed up as a 1920s gangster, so I didn't need any of my costume to get ironed up. I mean, I don't mind a few wrinkles. I mean, sh sure, some people like to iron up their costumes to make it look nice and straight, but me, uh, I'm, I don't mind wrinkles to be honest. I mean, if it's too wrinkly, then sure, iron it a little bit. But if it's a few wrinkles, not that big of a deal for me. I mean, they're just clothes to me. I put them on and then get through my day or night or whatever. So anyway, while time passes, I try to find something good on TV um, in my hotel rooms. And nothing, not a whole lot of shows were, were like that were on TV were good. So the only thing I was able to stumble upon was Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1, and I'm like, screw it, watch the Twilight movies. I I mean, as a kid, I was a huge fan of the Twilight movies, especially when I was like, I don't know, fourth grade, uh, middle school, between those ages. I know it's supposed to be PG-13, but when I was a kid, I was obsessed with those movies. So was my mom. But um, now that I'm grown, I'm not a huge fan of the Twilight movies. My mom still likes them, though. So anyway, by the time it got dark, my mom and I got dressed in our costumes and we went to the Halloween party. My mom tried to find a parking spot because there were so many cars at the party, at the parking spot. So it took her a while to, you know, find the place. We had to get directions, you know, Siri and all of that shit. So my mom found a parking spot and we walked up to the party and, um... There was a lot of people, and it was flashing lights and loud music, and you guys already know that I'm a, not a huge fan of big crowds and loud noises, but this was an experience for me. That's all, that's all enough as it is. I know Halloween, some Halloween parties can get pretty crowded these days, especially, you know, since social distancing and stuff, but hey. I wanted to know what going to a Halloween party was like, so I had to tough up through the loud noises and um, big crowds. I had to tolerate them for just one night and see how it went. And I saw a lot of people in really cool costumes. There was a woman wearing a Jessica Rabbit costume, and one of my favorite costumes I saw someone wear is this person has like this mecha iron giant costume, and they were right behind it controlling like the hands and stuff and the feet it was really cool and my little brother loved iron giant when he was a kid i'm not a huge fan of iron giant it's okay but my little brother loved that movie anyway it was an awesome costume but at the party my mom and i were walking around you know, trying to get some social interaction in, walking around seeing, like, um, scoping the place out. And I'll tell you what really ruined my whole night at the party. My mom and I were walking around, she's next to me, and a guy right behind me touched me by the shoulder. I thought he was caressing me. I thought he was, like, trying to kidnap me or something. But um, it was an accident. He thought I was someone else. And I understand it was an accident and I told him it was okay, but in my head, I wasn't okay at all. I felt super uncomfortable and unnerved. It just ruined my whole night. I mean, I understand he, he thought I was his girlfriend or something, but hey, 
tell you, dude, I'm not straight. But he didn't know. He didn't know whatsoever. And uh, again, he apologized and everything. Uh, so I tried to, um, my mom and I, she got, we, um, I got some water and she got a drink or whatever. And I tried to drink some water just to, you know, ignore what just happened. But I just, I just didn't have a fun time at all. The music was loud. There's so many people. And that whole instance with this whole guy behind me caressing my shoulder by accident just ruined my night. <sighs> And I felt bad because I wanted to know what it was like going to a Halloween party. Now I thought it was going to be fun, but instead it didn't, it wasn't fun. It was, you know, not fun at all. And I told, and I apologized to my mom and I told her that I was sorry and I thought it was going to be fun, but she didn't, um, she said it was okay. I mean, at least we got to spend time with each other my mom and I mother and daughter you know girls night out and stuff I mean if we didn't have fun at the party at least we got to spend time together as a family and then by the time the night went goes by we we left the party and went back to our hotel slept woke up and then left went back home and that alone that Halloween experience Halloween party experience will still forever probably be in my head Ugh, it's just again it was it was it was weird to say the least but hey it was my first experience I mean some people have better experiences at Halloween parties than I do but hey I wanted to you know fit in and try to be like the cool kids you know have fun at parties, but <laughs> I try at least. I try to be fun. I'm f I am fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!